There's a new technology which allows you to enter cyberspace, called virtual reality. It's a popular new fad. It's going to be a state-of-the-art presentation, state-of-the-art, uh, new techniques that allow the 12-year-old child or the 120-year-old senior citizen to move through the television screen and then create, furnish, inhabit, and interact in this Alice in Wonderland electronic reality inside the screen. It's the kind of electronic mind expansion that would appeal to Dr. Timothy Leary, who's an old friend of William Gibson. When he became the patron saint of computers, he didn't like that at all because he thinks of himself as a literary person. And uh, I've watched him for many, uh, many years now uh, wrestle himself out of... Uh, he doesn't like high tech and he'd be proud of the fact that he was using a plume pen or <laughs> whatever he was. No, that's the interesting paradox. Yeah. I mean, there's a paradox at the center of it. Because basically he isn't very optimistic about the world that he portrays. I know. Are you more or less optimistic than he is? Well, uh, see, he portrayed all the downsides of electronic technology. I think William comes from the tradition of uh, the, uh, the kind of the gloomy, cynical uh, outsider writer. And everything he says about the control of uh, computers by the big corporations uh, is true. But what he missed was something that I've been involved in all the way along. I'm a populist, and I, I knew that we could get this uh, uh, technology into the hands of individuals. So that uh, I see it as extremely liberating. At the moment, like much innovative technology, it's clumsy and expensive. But if you wear this mask, you can have the sensation you're entering the screen behind you. Demonstrations are packed and there are lots of volunteers who want to experience that other virtual reality. But the godfather of cyberspace is not enthusiastic. When you have virtual reality in your living room, it's not going to be something that, that you, turn, you turn to your friend and say, wow, we've got virtual reality. It's going to be something that you sort of, you sort of crawl out of your television set one day and say, man, I've been watching that thing for days. It's virtual reality. I mean, it's something we already have. It's just another way of looking at it's another way of looking at something we already have and when it I lose interest in it when it ceases to be metaphorical. <laughs>